so here's here's how I like this is something that is that has transcended um, the various time periods of my life. The two things that I've tried to impart in my kids as far as traits to develop. Uh, the first one is is curiosity is to be curious, um, not necessarily for the sake of trying to learn more, but to understand more. And, and there's a difference between those two things. Then the second one is problem solving is to to really, you know, so if you can take those two traits and, and embody them as a, as a person, there's almost nothing that you can't do. You know, you, you're curious enough to want to understand and learn. Uh, I can recall my um, my standing orders from any of my superiors whenever I went to go to a school was that I had to have not just a working knowledge of whatever subject I was going to, but I had to have enough knowledge to be able to answer questions that were inevitably going to come from my teammates. Why do you do it that way? How come you can't do it like this? What's the reason behind that? So, you know, it, it put a lot of um, emphasis on, on really understanding whatever the subject was, not, mm -hmm. not, and, and that's why, like, I think it's important that you learn, but learning is not the same as understanding. And, mm -hmm. and that's, that's kind of like where we, uh, again, see the world a little bit differently. And problem solving is, as an instructor, uh, you know, in, in every fast, I mean, I cannot tell you how many times we would sit in our mission planning cycle, we would plan these missions down to the, the finest detail, we'd get on whatever it was the aircraft the boats whatever we were using the vehicles and almost immediately things were not going exactly according to plan and we have contingencies in place for a lot of these that allow us to adapt very quickly but really what made such a difference was our ability to problem solve in such real time and the other thing about problem solving is not just being able to do it quickly but to do it accurately and what i mean by that is a problem has a a right and a wrong answer, right? So when we're problem solving, it's not just, it doesn't mean just, okay, end it. It means to mm -hmm. end it on a positive note. Yeah. And that's the other thing that we try to get across to people is like, when you're problem solving, you're obviously, your, your goal is to solve the problem correctly. Yeah. And so in real time, seeing a problem for the first time that you didn't plan for and being able to quickly assess, surmise, and execute your response to that to that problem that was not part of the plan is one of the things that, again, allows the special operations community to be as successful as they are, because that's, a, that's just something that is difficult to understand until you live it, until that's, that's, how, that's, and honestly, I took it for granted. I just thought that was how it was always done. I didn't realize that that was unique or special or different from so much of the world. Because again, in, in my world, that's it. That's all that existed. My, mm -hmm. you know, that was it. So when I stepped into the private world and started doing this for a living, um, there was a lot of things that kind of were difficult or challenging, I should say, is a better way to put it, challenging.